Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'll be teaching you the basics of a constructor. Well, let's begin. In order to make a constructor, type in public, your class name, which mine is tutorial, and you open and close parentheses and make sure you have your curly braces. It's like a method basically. And then type of code what you want to appear inside this constructor. Let's say this should run like a method. Alright, we've done the constructor so far. So, uh, in order to make it appear in main, remember, Java reads what is only inside of main, not outside. So therefore, we have to make an object in order to make this code appear. So type in tutorial, make your variable t equals new tutorial. All right, we're done with here. Yeah, we're done right here because we don't have to do this right here. That's not necessary because we already have it declared right here. Because look. Tutorial parentheses. All right, we should run this. That's what it's basically doing with the object. So let's save that. Java C. Java. This should run like a method. See? You don't have to do this right here. Remember, if you have a constructor and make an object for that, then it's done. All right. Well, now let's make a, a like a method. So void let's do ants. All right. For this one, you have to make this right here ants. And let's run something inside of it. Hi. All right. So now let's save this. And Java C Java. This should run like a method. Hi. Oh right, well now let's do something. Let's put something inside the constructor. Let's say string M. We want to return something basically. Let's make another uh variable on top of the constructor string m2 alright so now let's say alright m is equivalent to m2 so let's say right here alright since you make this as a method or not a method a string we have to type what is like inside of this parentheses. It can be a, it, it has to be a string basically. But if you have like something else like byte and ant, should be a number. But for this tutorial, we're gonna do string. So let's do key west. Mm, let's say hi. Or to M2. Alright, so what we did so far, we uh, made a variable declare inside the constructor. Alright, and this will be equivalent to M2, which is the variable over here. And then this right, this keyword right here, or the string you type in here, will replace this. And it will return back to M, and it will be equivalent to M2, and then it will be saying high key west. So let's save that. Java C, Java. Hi, no. Uh, let's switch this around. Save. high key west alright so this is important though if you have n2 here 
and M here, then it'll be saying no because remember, Java reads was like. Let me rephrase that. Java reads le from left to right, so it'll say no, of course. To prevent that problem, you switch up the variables and it won't say no. It'll say key west. Like you see here, key west. So it's pretty neat. Like if you have multiple constructor, let's do T2. New tutorial. Do uh, let's do uh, New York. And then you have to make another one. T2 ants. And we say hi Key West and hi New York. See? Hi Key West and hi New York. See? It saves time. Like if you have something similar like this and you want to type multiple times. Like Key West and New York. Then a constructor will be good for your, use, your usage in Java. Well, this concludes my tutorial over constructors, or the basics of it, I mean. And thanks for watching, and stay tuned for my next tutorial, and subscribe. Thank you.